With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. Question says that a transparent solid cylindrical rod has a refractive index of 2 by root 3. It is surrounded by the uh, air. A light ray is incident at the midpoint of one end of the rod as shown in the figure. The incident angle theta for which the light ray grazes along the wall of the rod is. Okay. So in the question, it is asked to find theta when the ray after reflection. Okay. It will, it will go parallel to the surface of the rod okay so we need to find out the theta so in order to find out theta only the refractive index of the material is given so what we can do here we can first find if we find this angle okay then relating this point we can find this angle also okay so to find this angle what we can do for ray to be parallel after this refraction this theta that is the critical angle this angle theta which is a critical angle okay that is the angle for which the ray will be parallel to the surface so we need to find out this one then we can also find this one with the help of theta c so using Snell's law we can write for this case n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r here n1 is the material okay so my refractive index of the material is 2 by root 3 and sin i is okay sin i we have to find the theta c okay and n2 is air here it is air so we will write uh, 1 for air and sin r so sin r is here is 90 degree okay so it will be sin 90 degree so we, here we can write 1 into sin 90 that is 1 and 2 by root 3 sin theta c or we can write sin theta c equal to root 3 by 2 so theta c will be 60 degree now we have theta c so we can find out this angle okay so if it is 60 60 degree and this is 90 degree this is 90 degree then this must be 30 degree okay now we have this angle so we can take the refraction at this point okay so again we apply the uh, Snell's law here it will be n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r so here the uh, ray is moving from air to the uh, that material so for air it is 1 and sin i that is we have to find let's say this is theta and n2 is for refractive uh, refract in index for the material and that is 2 by root 3 and sin the angle is 30 degree okay here we can write sin theta equal to 2 root 3 and sin 30 is 1 by 2 so here 2 and 2 both are cancelled out so what we can write here we can write 1 by root 3 and here sin theta so what we will write here for theta we can write for theta sin inverse 1 by root 3 so if we check the option the correct option is the correct option is sin inverse 1 by root theta okay so we can write 
correct answer is sin inverse 1 by root 3. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.